How's it going, everybody? Welcome back. And today I'm going to show you guys how you can access the dark web through the Tor browser safely. Now, the uh, Tor browser itself does provide a level of anonymity. However, you want to encrypt your data and traffic as you go through the uh, dark web. And if you're trying to uh, surf the dark web more safely, you're going to want to, you know, use a VPN. Now, depending on which VPN you're using, you know, you might have to use the Tor browser, you might not have to. So, for example, if we're using v NordVPN here, let's say you don't want to install the Tor browser. And just to show you guys, if I just start it up right here, just to kind of demonstrate, it establishes a connection, takes a little bit, and, you know, once you're connected, you have access to the dark web. And you can, uh, you know, go and look up whatever you're trying to look up. Now, for example, NordVPN will actually give you the choice of accessing the dark web without using the Tor browser. So, you know, that can be handy. Uh, so you could use uh, Firefox or Google Chrome. Now, uh, does that provide uh, more anonymity than the Tor browser? Probably, probably not, since the Tor browser uh, is, you know, in and of itself, it is a little bit more encrypted and private than Google Chrome. So either way, I would um, suggest that you use the Tor browser if you're trying to access the dark web for a little bit more safety and privacy. So if we're trying to access the dark web, you're going to need a VPN. And in my opinion, these three VPNs are actually some of the best VPNs you could use. That'll be ExpressVPN, NordVPN, and Surfshark. If you're interested in any of them, by the way, you'll find links in the description down below. I'll include some links and discounts. So, you know, if you want to take advantage of those, feel free to do so. Um, also, links from reviews if you'd like to take a look at the advantages and disadvantages of each. Excuse me. Now... Here's my opinion on things. Well, it's more of an objective opinion because I've been using these VPNs and just testing them out for a bunch of things. And you can see that in the reviews if you'd like. Um, in terms of privacy, I would definitely suggest that you go with ExpressVPN. So if you're trying to just go for privacy, uh, the top security, it's as secure as it gets really. If you watch the review below, I'll you'll understand what I'm saying in terms of privacy policy. It really is the best privacy policy, uh, especially the no log policy they have. It's as good as it gets. Why? That's because in a real life situation where a server was seized by the Turkish government, uh, an ExpressVPN server, they were not able to uh, extract any information simply because they did not include any logs in their, um, in their server. So yeah, that's about as good as it gets with a no log policy. Um, Unfortunately, there was it was an assassination, actually. So it was a very high profile uh, case where they needed that information. But uh, ExpressVPN just simply did not include any logs or, or traffic or, or activity logs in their servers. So if that if that's what you're looking for, then definitely go with ExpressVPN. Now, if you're interested in this Onion over VPN uh, kind of uh, service where you don't have to access the you don't have to download the Tor browser in order to access the dark web. This is definitely one convenient way of doing it. Um, your traffic is still encrypted, essentially, through NordVPN. Uh, NordVPN is a pretty secure VPN as well. But if you're looking for, you know, better security, I would definitely suggest just, you know, you could use the Onion over VPN server uh, without the Tor browser. What I would recommend is just download the Tor browser and select a regular server and you're good to go. Um, you also have, so if you're, let's say you're in a, you have obfuscated servers. So let's say you're in a, you're in China or Turkey or UAE or any of these countries that are super heavy and restrictive, uh, censorship heavy, uh, obfuscated servers will help you bypass uh, the, what's it called? The, 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 the firewalls, such as the Great Firewall of China. Uh, that's the that's one good thing about it. Um, though in ExpressVPN, for example, that's always on by default, so you're always going to be bypassing such firewalls without having to turn on any kind of uh, feature. Um, 
Of course, you, all these three VPNs, by the way, have a kill switch and split tunneling. So uh, the only difference is, is, where is it? Yeah, the uh, Nord VPN will have a, an app kill switch. So it'll, instead of turning off, instead of disabling your entire network, network, it'll just disable an application of your selection. Now, Surfshark is another really good VPN. Um, the thing is, the key, the encryption keys that they use for Surfshark are a little bit lesser than Nord and Express. So Nord and Express use a 4096 key, whereas Surfshark use a 2048 key. In other words, it is um, twice as much weaker. Let's, if that makes sense, it's uh, yeah, it's it's not as good when it comes to encryption. However. It's not like the 2048 encryption uh, key is has ever been uh, decrypted or or kind of decoded. That that has never happened. But objectively, on paper, Nord and Express are safer. <clears throat> but Surfshark has no history of being breached or any kind of uh, you know um, just uh, malfunctions in terms of their network or or any uh, server seizures or failures or anything like that so uh yeah and they do you do have whitelister which is split tunneling and you do have right here which is go to connectivity you do have a kill switch so you're good to go really uh and you're able to access the um tor browser obviously uh, you, there there is no onion over vpn so you'll just have to access the uh dark web through the tor browser so you know just for demonstration purposes i'm gonna hit the hong kong server right here and i'm just gonna turn it on using the lightweight UDP protocol. Uh, you can use OpenVPN UDP if you want, uh, let's say, more security. And if you're going to access the dark web using a VPN, this is pretty much the way. I just connected to the VPN, and I'm, now I'm going to start the Tor browser. It really is as simple as that. And now I can just access whatever kind of, um, whatever website you're trying to access, let's say. So that'll be it for this video. Again, if you're interested in any of these VPNs, you'll find links to special deals and discounts in the description down below, as well as reviews if you'd, uh, if you'd like to know the ins and outs of each VPN, including, you know, privacy policy, speed, streaming, and torrenting capabilities, as well as all of these security and features. Uh, and uh, yeah, that'll be it for me. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a wonderful day.